Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hello friends and welcome back to Sherlock Holmes The Awakened. Today we're going through Hell's Door. Which doesn't sound brilliant, does it? But we're doing it anyway. Because, as you'll remember, at the end of the last episode, we put two and two together and realised that people were being brought in from far away, not everyone having survived the journey, uh, in these boxes, and then forced into the morgue way. Uh, and as the game is reminding me, I need to pin some stuff. Passage must lie somewhere near the back entrance. So, medical evaluations. We've found Heidi the dog. Dog? The doll. Heidi the doll. Um, I think we should go see Gerda. Because she was the one who talked about Hell's Door and let us know about it. So, now that we have the doll, we can talk to her and maybe she'll tell us more. Um, and go from there. So we're going to go back to the, back to the, oh, see, this is the, ah, oh, there we go. We're going to go back to block B. Is that Heidi? Yes. I found Heidi. So it's time to say, wait for it, Heidi, hi. I believe I have found your friend. Heidi! Oh, poor girl. What did they do to you? Shh. It's all right now. Everything will be all right. Hooray! Please. Gerda, now I have found Heidi, I need some help from you in return. Shh, Heidi. We should thank the man, don't you think? How did you end up in Block B? The nurses say I'm prone to violent outbursts, but they're wrong. I just do what Heidi tells me. Mm. Have you ever met Professor Becker? I remember him. He was in charge here before that witch, Gygax. But I haven't heard his voice for a long time. Uh-oh. Too bad. He was nice. Okay, what do you know about Gygax? Professor Gygax seems to rule this facility with an iron fist. Do you know anything about her? She's sick. She did nasty things to us. Separated me and Heidi just for fun. Mm. Before she got here, this place was all right. What happened to the foreign patients? Tell me all you know about those funny talking people. Oh, they were foreign. We hear their okay. screams. The guards would take them down the corridor behind you and they'd disappear. And the screams would stop. I shall leave you two to get reacquainted. Right. Okie dokie. Secret passage somewhere near the rear entrance. Right, so... Yeah, the corridor behind you. So it is still back here. Which makes sense, because this is the restricted area. What if... Because it did seem weird, right, that the laundry room would be in the restricted area where they're trafficking people. I reckon if it's anywhere, it's going to be around here somewhere. Hmm. Although, well, this is where they've just been, like, burning all the old clothes, isn't it? So maybe that is a good reason for it to be back here. Damn. It's almost like I'm not Sherlock Holmes. Uh, laundry. Restricted area. Oh, no. I fucking know it's a restricted area. I need to tell me twice. It's a bloody horrible area is what it is. Secret passage? What? Well, hang on. Yeah, because, yeah. Because we know from the reconstruction that they were marched through here. Let's have a good old-fashioned look-see, shall we? Well, we found everything here, so... 
not that. Hmm. Problem is, we've already been over everything here, so... My thought is that Holmes wouldn't then be like, oh, having just had a conversation about a doll. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, let's have another look in the big room. Yeah, yeah. Discoloration, strong chlorine smell. Ooh, ooh, ooh! Hello. Welded shut. So is it beneath? Hello. Hello. Scratches. Scratches. Something has been moved through here. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. What are you? Round Indian. Smells of machine. It seems to be a locking mechanism. The whole thing must be a door. Oh, ho, ho, ho. okay. Oh, right. That means we can deduce how to get the key to Hell's door. A working dumbwaiter, really? Maybe. Let's try that. Investigating the Edelweiss and Gerda's testimony? Ah. <sighs> Okay, so the working dumbwaiter, yes. Black Edelweiss's secrets. That makes more sense. Blocked path upstairs? No. Maybe. Block pa Let's try block path upstairs. No, we can't. I don't know. <sighs> Medical evaluation? Let's try that. Fuck it, why not? No. What's in successful infiltration? We'll try that, why not? The letter to Mr. Schnitzer? Okay, what's this over there? Block A, patience? I'm really fucking... <laughs> really just... scrambling now, aren't I? Old photograph, sure. Heidi? Fuck off, is it, Heidi? Left a note from the good professor? No. What? I've done almost all of them now. Am I missing something still? No, it's told me that I can do this. But what's it going to be? Help. We must, we must still be missing something. <sighs> okay, all right, that's fine. Well, we know they've gone through that way. Let's have another chat with, um... Let's have another chat, shall we? With Heidi. With, with Gerda. Okay. Yeah. Oh. 
dot, dot, dot. Oh, the speech bubble. Doesn't that mean you can have a conversation with someone about something? I really wish it would explain any of that iconography to me. Somebody in the comments told me about this. You can have a chat to further this. That's a, that's a huge steer hidden in a very tiny icon. Right. Hello. Good. I will make them pay for what they did to Heidi. I'm sure you will. How to open Hell's door. I found Hell's door, the one that made the foreigners silent, remember? How do I open it? Gerda, please, I cannot get inside. You have to tell me how to open it. How can you speak to me like nothing's wrong? Can't you hear Heidi crying? Look at her! Look! She's suffering. I can't even hear my thoughts over her screams. Poor, poor Heidi. We will fix you. I promise. We will fix you! Mm -hmm. Leave it with me, Gerda. Investigation scene found. Right. Okay. This will require two buttons, thread, glue, and nails. Investigation scene found. Where's the... Is this the investigation scene? Thread, glue, and nails. Is it st let's try... Threading in the laundry? Ah, yes. Well, we can get buttons, can't we? Loose buttons. Take, please. Okay. Two buttons. Some thread. This looks like thread. A long thread, yep. Yeah. Glue and nails now. Okay, investigation scene completed. Nails. What if we could use the needles from the syringes in the smaller holding cells? Like these little bastards. No, it doesn't seem to be the case. Okay, all right. Well, it was a thought. Okay, glue and nails. Well, nails for the fucking... Surely there are nails left over in these crates, you'd think. Maybe we don't use the one that's all covered in blood, hey? That wouldn't be nice for Heidi. Hmm. No, I don't think it is here. I think we need to find somewhere new. That's all right. Oh. What's this love? Storage room. Storage room sounds like it will have things in it. There we go. That's more bloody like it, isn't it? Construction adhesive. Slightly rusted nails. <laughs> okay, right, let's go triage a doll. Everything is ready for Heidi's repair. Examination room, of course. Horrid. Will this help fix your friend? Give it to me. How is she feeling? Everything oh, will be Oh, fucking right. hell. Everything. Goethe, I have a couple of Jesus. questions. Yes, I... Take your little mouth, Goethe. You've said enough already. Uh... She won't speak no more. Now it's only Heidi. You helped me, 
and I didn't cut out your eyes. So we're even. Now go! Pardon? What is nice about this game is it's very easy to spot which bits are Sherlock Holmes and which bits are Lovecraft. <laughs> Heidi, there are things I need some clarity on. Ask if you dare, but if I get bored, there will be consequences. Oh dear, oh goodness, okie dokie. This is the Edelweiss. Yes, that's, that's what we need. I found Hell's door, but it's locked. Is there a way to get in? Hell's door? Never heard of it. Oh, what? What? Fuck off. Okay. Gerda should know more. That's not true. You, Gerda, told me that Hell's door makes people silent forever. And you believe that snotty little girl? I'll personally ensure that she no. never dares to speak again! Oh dear. Oh no. Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. Now what? Now what? Why does Heidi keep everything a secret? Oh. No. No, that's not her. Was she abducted? She does speak with an American accent. Yeah. Your teeth will make a fine necklace. Oh dear. Look, Gerda, the man is insane. The professor will treat him like she treated us. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. So we know investigating the Edelweiss I did it. Yeah. Hellstorm? Yeah, no, that's not true. Gerda's testimony. And then a working dumbwaiter, no. A photograph, no. We've already used that one. What's this in there? No from Professor. Ah! Fuck fuck's sake. Gerda. Right, yes. Why didn't I see that before? Professor Gygax hurt you repeatedly, scarred your body and mind. <laughs> you are not protecting Hell's door. You are simply afraid of the consequences were I to enter. I could tap your teeth out with a hammer until you choked on the blood in bits. You could. But then you would live the rest of your life in fear of Professor Gygax. I can make that feeling go away. How? I can stop her. But the key, Heidi, the key to Hell's door is critical to stopping Professor Gygax. Mm. And I think you know where it is. Tell him! But you said... And now I say tell him! The professor, she has a special key. Keeps it close and only brings it down when you people go through. Behind those closed doors, those people start to sing. Oh, they sing in so much pain. Gygax, of course. Thank you, Gerda. Heidi, I must leave. Leave? <laughs> you joke. Nobody leaves the Edelweiss. Now you will be with us forever! Oh dear. Oh no. Okay. All right. So, Heidi's testimony. Pin that. It's time to go to Gygax's office. How do we get there? Through a working dumb waiter, maybe? Hello, fellow uh, employees. How do you do? For real, how do we get to Gygax's office? It's got to be back this way, right? Examination room? No. Not the storage room, Lager Realm. There's the guest room. I wonder if Watson was able to speak to Gygax. Oh. We were trying to solve a mind palace thing, weren't we? Look. How to get the key to Hell's door. 
Working, working down way. So Watson's successful. At we need Watson to do it. There we go. There's the missing thing. Watson could find it. Send it downstairs. Okay. But but how do we get what's how to get Watson to get to Watson for help? A working down way, sir. How the fuck do we? Okay, a working down way, sir. I want to say patient hates the guards. Stare up a patient, maybe, but... There's neither of those. Maybe we should say patient hates the guards. And blocked path? If a patient... needs... subduing, I suppose, the guards would leave? Yeah, all right. Go on, then. Use a patient to create a diversion. Right, yes. Okay. This is so devious. Right, pin that. Let's go talk to him. He's in block A. Where's he gone? Where is he? Where is he? It's not Felicia. It's not Aurelian. Maurizio? Yeah, there we go. Look. Oh, God. Okay. All right. So, oh, this is, funnily enough, quite a strong lock. So there's six tumblers. Tumbler three needs to go up one notch. That's our baseline. So it's one. And then two for number five. That much is plain. Let's just do this in stages. Yep. Okay. So it's... Three for okay. Two, three, one, three, one. Let's go for two, three, one, three. One, three, one. Let's try that. Yes, great. Lock, stock, and barrel. Pick every lock. Depart this location. You cannot return after leaving. Be sure to finish anything you want to do here. Let's go. At last! You came to your senses. I did. My humble apologies, Emperor. Spare me your groveling, for Englishman. Sake. Of course. You are right as ever, for you see, time is of the essence. The Royalists have risen again, and your darling Josephine needs you. Paris needs you. This is so Hello? unethical. <laughs> but the guards upstairs in reception stand in your way. Ha! They will pose no problem for the likes of me. Merci, Englishman. When I return to Les Tuileries, I shall make you a general. Oh, you are too kind, Emperor. Now go. Your freedom awaits. I am coming, Josephine. Josephine, you Yes, well, quite. Psst. Watson. Over here. Holmes? Holmes? What are you doing here, and where did you get that outfit? Oh, it is unimportant. I require your assistance. What is happening, Holmes? I need an explanation. It's quite simple. I created a distraction so that I could tell you something important, and in turn, I need you to acquire something important for me. Hmm. How can you call any of this charade simple? Watson, we can discuss this later. Good Time question. is of the utmost importance. The kidnapped people may still be here. This is what I know so far. What? Yeah. You really found all this on your own? Focus, Watson. I need you to find a key. It will be most unique. All the details are in my notes. Logic dictates that Gygax will keep it near her. 
Once acquired, you must get it to me. Perhaps the kitchen dumbwaiter could be of use. Holmes, I... I can't do this. I'm no spy. You can and you yes, must. Yes, you can, Watson. You are unfailingly dependable. It's simple, Watson. You must seduce Professor Gaikens. Dr. Watson, visitors are not permitted back here. I'm terribly sorry, Mr. Kuntz. After the war, my nerves, I, uh, I fled all that commotion. It is nothing. A patient attempted to escape. He will not get far. Now, if you would like to follow me. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> Okie dokie. Let's see. Blood in the water. Someone must have washed their hands here recently. Ooh, horrible. What have we got ourselves into, Holmes? Watson, you know my methods. Again. Fucking don't point it straight at your face, Watson. <laughs> Watson's just there like, huh, what's this? Huh, again. <laughs> Awful. Oh, Jesus. Perhaps I should take this. For all I hope it won't be needed. Yes, absolutely take the gun. Come on. Did a child make these? No. There's not a child. But that must mean... This is the guest room. Gerda was here as a guest before she became a patient? That is most unusual. Right, where's Gygax's office? Oh god, oh dear, oh no. They're keeping people in an av aviary. Oh no, there is an aviary and there's a woman on the other side of it. I understand now. Hello, birds. Okay. Where is Gygax's office? Oh, can we talk to the... Okay, sure. Miss? Yep. Oh, you're in the flower bed. I hear them scratching. Don't you hear it? Can't say I do, I'm afraid, my good man. Should we talk to this fella? I don't want to card block me tonight. Okay. Guest room two. Oh, oh, patient room two. Hello. I'm struggling to remember something. Okie dokie. Patient poetry. Oh, beautiful alpine flower whose heart I do miss so. You call to me why I, while I don't see how could I let you go. The storm cuts through my senses, makes all my thoughts so blind. With no captain I miss reason, what did they truly find? Cold and dark, with grimy walls, roughly held like animals, trapped yet free, why do I fall? Something squirms on the tip of the tongue, but what can it be? What did I forget? Or the beautiful alpine flower? Is that meant to be the Edelweiss? Interesting. Interesting. It's something familiar. If only I could place it. I must think. Maybe if I write another poem, I will remember. Maybe. Why does my mind play such tricks on me? Being... Why does my mind play such tricks on me? You're being kept here um, and mistreated. That's what I would say. Oh, hello. This area is off limits. A patient has escaped. Understood. Don't you worry. Right, Gygax's office. Let's have a good old snoop. Ah. The weed room. Oh, no. Cook. I thought it was Kush. There's <laughs> just a big old pig's head. Stack of dirty plates. All right, it's not in here. Director's office. Ah, Dr. Watson. Fuck. Just the man I wanted to see. Professor, I'm surprised you're not trying to catch that SKP. 
Please, my time is far too valuable. I hope Nurse Kunz has been taking good care of you. Yep, you certainly kept me out of trouble. Mm -hmm. Professor, it is time for your appointment with your next patient, Mr. Wolf. Herr Wolf can wait until tomorrow. I wish to speak with Dr. Watson. Uh, as you wish. You still see patients yourself, even as the director of this entire facility? Only the important ones. And yet I rarely get to pick the brain of a man like yourself. I think it is time we got to know each other, no? I'm afraid oh, there's not much to know. Don't like the I'm just an average pick your brain. Jack, living a rather prosaic life these days. Dr. Watson, those of us who pursue knowledge are anything but average. Now, who are you? A doctor. I'm a doctor. I'm a physician in search of a stimulating career. I have patients, yes, but admittedly, I'm more interested in the cutting edge of medical research. Good answer. So when I read about the Black Abel Vice and your work on the healing of minds, I simply had to learn more. I suppose my Abel Vice was always destined to attract other curious minds. Well, exactly. But before we continue, I want you to understand one thing. A broken mind can never be truly healed. Mm. Ah, I see. So, what exactly do you do here? It is simple. If you cannot fix a person's nature, you must force them to forget it. That sounds very Surely bad. Surely there are other methods of treatment. How naive. You remind me of a man I once knew, Professor Becker. But we do not speak of him anymore. A colleague? The former director here. One day he realized that Edelweiss had outgrown him and had to leave. Dr. Watson. Already, Doctor? I was simply admiring your office, Professor. Apologies. While I am pleased you appreciate its practicality and appearance, we were discussing bigger things. Yes, indeed. Was my conversation boring you? Not at all. No, not at all. I, I merely... No, no. I understand full well. Oh, fuck. You're not seeking conversation? What do you mean? It is obvious. Your mind craves truth. Oh, no. But not in this form. Uh-oh. You must witness a practical demonstration if you are to learn. Uh oh. I'm certainly intrigued. Oh, I'm about to Would get hit possible? over the back of the head. Of course. I propose a journey between the jury of the human brain. You will not leave without being truly enlightened. Kunz, take Dr. Watson back to the courtyard. Then tell the nurses to prepare the operation room and the girl with the doll. Yes, Professor. She's about to Our preparations right will take a little time. I will come for you soon, Doctor. That seems very fucking bad. Uh oh. Okay, very important patient. That's how we can lure Gygax out of her office. Oh, this is very, very bad. Patient's poetry, maybe? Hmm. Let's try it, why not? Um, Gerda's testimony? I'm clutching here, aren't I? Well, it's definitely the poetry. Okay, that's good. Black Edelweiss's secrets. I wonder, does the man know? The letter to Mr. Schnitzer? No. <laughs> I was so convinced I had it then, wasn't I? Fuck. Gygax's testimony. The patient's poetry. Old photograph? No. I think we need more. Let's keep snooping around, shall we? Where have we not been? There's loads of stuff here. The guest room, we've already been in here. That's where we started. Administration. Hello. Photograph seems recent. Size nine. A commemorative photo album. Been a while since I've been in one of these. Aww. Recent photo of asylum staff. Okay. Gygax's patient reports. October 1879. 
As more serious treatment is necessary, my special patient, Wolf, will be transferred to patient room 2 on the ground floor. All other patients must be removed from my schedule and reassigned to other specialists at the Institute. This patient's mental state requires constant monitoring and immediate intervention to avoid undesirable consequences. Well, who... The necessary surgical procedures were successfully performed. Physical recovery is still in progress. Memory loss is increasing, but still not complete. A new obsession with writing has developed, probably as a side effect. The patient's writing now mentions old names. Clear sign of partial memory recovery. Unacceptable result. What do you know that she's afraid of? A second surgery is required, targeting both the frontal and temporal lobes. Surgery went well. The patient's memory does not persist for longer than a couple of minutes, although an obsession with writing lingers. Danger eliminated. Daily monitoring prescribed. Danger eliminated. Is that... Good is lord, it... that's a lot of records. Good lord. Is he the old director? There's no way that she'd be like, this is my only patient and I must see that he doesn't remember anything unless the knowledge was threatening to her somehow. Why does Gygax care about Wolf? Patient reports? Very important patient. A note from Professor Becker. Oh, two of those. Okay. Edelweiss's secrets? No. Old photograph. No, we can't. It has to be something like this. It's, it's not that. It's not the patient hates the guards. Okay, there's still more to be found, but we're getting there. Is there anything else in here? Doesn't seem like it. What's in here? Hello. Visitor from space, glowing meteor, lands in Arkham. Well, that might explain a thing or two. I hope you're finding the room comfortable, Dr. Watson. Very much. Examination room, yeah. I can't go in there. What are we missing? Damn it. Wait, Professor Gygax and Black, Black Edelweiss staff, okay. Wolf is an important patient. Maybe we, sh we should go back to talk to him. Yeah, fuck it, why not? Let's go back. Let's have a word with him again. He's right there. I mean, he deliberately doesn't really remember anything, but you never know. Director's office, yes, yes. Kitchen. Hey, bud. You are Mr. Wolf, am I right? Oh, hello. Who might you be? My name is Dr. John Watson. I wanted to talk with you, if you didn't mind. Ah, doctor. Oof. I don't suppose you could help. I, I seem to have forgotten where I am. We're in the Black Edelweiss, Mr. Wolf. It's an asylum in Switzerland, and you are one of its most important patients. But why am I here? That's what I was about to ask you. I can't remember. Sorry, I, I can't remember anything. It's all right. You don't need to push. Try to relax. Let the thoughts come and go. Now, no. what comes to mind? Mr. Wolf? Oh, hello. Who might you be? We... We just went over this. I'm sorry, but I don't think we've met. We were just discussing this facility, the Black Edelweiss Asylum, and why you are here. That name does sound familiar. Holmes, the things I do for you... All right. Excuse me, who are you? And who's this Holmes fellow? I am Dr. Watson, and Holmes is... Well, you could call him my imaginary friend. That's just a little joke, don't mind me. But why am I here, Doctor? Am I sick? I'm sure I can take a look. Aha, uh -huh, we're going to observe him. 
Okie dokie. Facial palsy. One side is paralysed. Well, that'll be from the two lobotomies he's had. Yep, two deep scars. Severe chemical burns that have faded with age. That is interesting. What about his other hand? Ink. Skin pigmentation. Possible abuse of medicine. An adult male with two deep surgical scars on the side of his head and an old chemical burn on one of his hands. Mr. Wolf has some paralysis of facial muscles and blue-gray pigmentation spots on his skin. These symptoms are most likely pre-existing, and his mission to the Black Edelweiss for treatment so far has failed to cure him. Ill due to treatment itself, I think. Overuse of medica medications including containing silver nitrate. His illness is a direct result of the treatment he has received here at the Black Edelweiss. It's got to be that. Dear Lord, what did Gygax do to you? Excuse me? Uh, who are you? Oh, never mind. <laughs> okay, right. We can do it now, look. I just care about Wolf. Yes. Called it. Called it, called it, called it. Okay, how to lure a Gygax out of her office, her testimony, the poetry, the man himself. It's got to be that. What? Oh, fucking come on. What? Very important patient. Okay, right, okay. Use Becca to distract Gygax. Okay, right. Oh, this is interesting. Well, let's have a chat with him again. Hello again. You won't remember me, but we've met before. I am Dr. John Watson. Indeed. And you are Professor Becker. You were the previous director of this facility, the Black Edelweiss. Professor, really? Actually, that name does sound familiar. Yes. Wait, wait. Let me write it down. I try to recall memories through writing, but they always feel just out of reach. As a matter of fact, I have more for you to jot down. Oh, 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 oh. Yes. yes, please, anything. Professor Gygax did this to you. She made you forget everything, even who you are. But we will play a trick on her. We will write a letter so that she learns her lesson. Put down what I dictate. This is so unethical again. She's a poor director. That's gonna get her worse. Dear Professor Gygax, I bitterly regret that I let my beautiful alpine flower fall under your alpine influence. flower. I see now you that it. you never deserved to sit as the director of the Black Edelweiss. Not the future. You just gotta attack her ego. You are not, as you so claimed, the future of the Edelweiss, and you never were. And by the time you make it to my cell, the police will already know the truth of how you came to be director of this asylum. Signed, Professor Becker. There. It's done. Now, hold on a minute. Who are you? My name is John Watson. I'm a doctor from London, a veteran of Afghanistan, and I wish to be a writer, though deep down I fear I lack the talent. And presently I am risking my life to help my brilliant detective flatmate in the pursuit of a cult of kidnappers, even as I fear it may destroy him. I'm tired and hungry, and I have not had a good bath in weeks, and yet despite it all, I... I feel alive. Any more questions? I loved that. Good heavens, sir. You're as mad as they come. Okay. Here we fucking go. This'll shit her up. Can we just... One of the patients asked me to deliver this note. It's for Professor Gygax. Thank you, Doctor. Leave it with me. Yes, yes. She's going to do horrible things to that man, unfortunately. A letter for you. Unbelievable. Kunz, with me. All righty. Time to go pilfer. Well, why are we here now? We want to go into the office. Where's West? Oh, I guess we hid around the corner. That explains a thing or two. Yes, here we go. Okay, let's go, let's go. 
Six things to note, eh? Six? And so far I'm seeing nothing. What the fuck? Wait. Ah. Locked. Oh, but not locked. Yes. Dear letter from, letter from the New Orleans Bank. Dear Professor, we recently took possession of a collection of rare gems on behalf of our mutual acquaintance. The gems have now been sold to Louisiana jewelers, who, have, who made several offers far exceeding our experts' estimate of the stone's value. The final sale price agreed on for the 11 gems was 12,550 12, Swiss francs. Hmm. Our client is instructed that you receive two-thirds of this sum transferred to your solicitor as per usual. As always, our discretion is assured, and we look forward to continued business with you and our, your illustrious patron. Yours sincerely, Jeffrey Scott, representative of the E.W. Gray Banking House, New Orleans, USA, January 9, 1882. It's all about money. It always is, isn't it? Eh? Professor Gygax. Oh, no, I, no, I want to continue the, the searching bit. Okay. What's in this drawer? Hello. Come. Oh, why is my mouse doing this? What's going on? I'm finding it hard to control this. Let's come around here. There we go. Gygax's diary. In December 1879, it has been three months since I took over the Edelweiss from Becker. Not all of my colleagues approved of my rule changes, so I'm, I'm now the only professor here. Wow. No matter, the hiring of several strong nurses will solve the personnel shortage. At last, my work can flourish without the impairment of his lesser mind. March 1880, the first payment has arrived from R. Our deal does pose risks, but the possibilities are endless if he is true to his word. May 1880, the first shipment of chosen ones has arrived. R has sent a vast selection of broken mines. The work ahead will be difficult, but undoubtedly useful for my own research as well. Two birds with one stone. Oh, we've unlocked some royal garments. Oh. Come on, you finicky little. Yeah, about that. Close, but I don't think this is the key. Okay. Mm -mm, this is too small to be what Holmes asked for. Well, what if it goes in something else? What am I missing? An Edelweiss relief about two inches in diameter. This must be what Holmes was after. Oh, great. Oh, fantastic. Okay. That was easy. Right, now to the dumbwaiter in the kitchen. Boop. I do feel bad that they are dosing up Professor uh Becker with silver nitrate again <sighs> because I got him to write a thing. Ah, the Dumvater. Here are Holmes. Job done. Good transition, that. I enjoyed it. What a weird run. Okie dokie. Here we fucking go. Okay. So we're, we're in. Uh-oh. 
Okay, that's the classic thing, isn't it? It's like Cthulhu lies sleeping, like in the dark something of, in the dark city of Rilair, Cthulhu lies sleeping or something? That's, what is it? It's, let's have a look. Cthulhu Fatagan. In his house at Rilair, dead Cthulhu waits dreaming. That's the one. Which is cheerful. It's sealed tight. I can't exit the same way. Oh, whoops. Oh, yeah, so this is the way we came in. Oh, some sort of classroom. But what are they teaching them? The writing is mostly gone. Phonetic symbols, perhaps. Yes, of the chant. There's a broken tooth, like coloured enamel. The tooth of an adult male, likely lost in a beating. Only a couple of days old. Oh, that's good fun, isn't it? That's a giggle. Oh, they're shackled to the floor. Fucking hell. The inside of the cuff is worn. It's been used often. Right, this is where they teach people to worship Cthulhu, then. Is this a wax cylinder? No. A wax oh, cylinder? Yes. There is something recorded on it. Oh, this isn't going to go well for you, Holmes, if you listen to that, I suspect. It'll be the chant again. Is that everything here? Oh. Oh. Yes, I suppose that is what happened. Jolly good. All right. Why can't I? Oh, oh it's just telling me they're there. There's no one I can actually talk to here. Okay. Oh, oh the spell. Dear God, is that body parts? It looks like. Cultists, why? Judging by the remnants of blood and flesh, these instruments were used for dismemberment. <coughs> Utterly inhuman. Yes, indeed. Gaze into the abyss, make it look back at you. Lots of a fun old uh, achievement, isn't it? Oh, good God. Oh, wait, please tell me that's a model. That's Well, that's a brain in a jar, sure enough. A handwritten letter. Professor, trust my guide, the light of our abyss, for he shall lighten our chosen, enlighten our chosen ones. Make sure he is present and that our chosen utter nothing but the sacred words. And lo, the trance will begin and we will be an inch closer to the universe beyond. Your work is essential, as many of our flock do not speak our language and time is of the essence. It would be best to work in groups, performing at least one seance per day for a week. Of course, the most sceptical members will have to be tamed by your hands. In the meantime, my work continues on a physical method to maintain the trance, staked through the emitted light waves of calide cal lenses. Finally, my men in New Orleans will, contacting you will contact you regarding the new serpent of Chosen. Make room for them as you have done before. Ah... Ah, as in, ah, this is very bad. Brain in a jar, brain in a jar, brain in a jar. The bank has the gems. My master has ordered me to send the first shipment of chosen ones. They will arrive within two weeks. Do not fail us. Okie dokie. It's old. You've just got to pay, master. That's what it is. Professor, it's pathetic. A key, a key. Yes, I'll take that. Thank you, shiny key. Okie dokie. What else have we got? 
All right. Notebook of Professor Gygax. Professor Gygax has so many diaries. The new method at last started to show progress. The success rate is 4 out of 10, and the failures are not responding to any external stimuli. Nevertheless, nevertheless, the phonetic system can be declared an undeniable success. Regardless of their native language, native language or place of origin, individuals learn to speak the charm without flaw. They learn it quickly and fluently, despite lacking all mental autonomy. Okie dokie. Regrettably, one of the Chosen continues to resist. Isolation and deprivation resulted in a strengthening of their disobedience. Negotiation only ignited anger, and even after the direct removal of the frontal and temporal lobes, it seems that all was left was an innate desire to resist. This Chosen One cannot be allowed to pollute the minds of the others. The conclusion, oh, is an inescapable. They cannot continue to live. I will see it. See to it they are sent to the well. Jesus Christ. Well, let's play the wax cylinder. Looks as if it's been recently used. Right then. Spooky. Anything else in here? Doesn't seem to be. Let's press on. Ah, yes. The lobotomy room. Oh, electroshock. Dynamo machine. Provides electrical stimulation for the person in the chair. Yes. Full grain leather straps. Impossible to escape. <sighs> this place sucks. Why are there birds in here? Oh. A very professional brain dissection. Right. That would be why then. Fucking hell. It's all a bit much, this, isn't it? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. oh. <laughs> Get out of my head! Your iron fist is devoid of soul. Find reverence for the one that men tremble. Great Lord! Blessed your Lord. Please, no more. Stop it. Watson, John, somebody. Wretched mortal, do not fear what is to come. Let him rupture our world anew. Awaken and let the world behold. Oh, no. Oh no. The light of the abyss is the light from the abyss. Oh. Get out of my head. Oh, this is deeply troubling, isn't it? We don't we don't love it. Okie dokie. Shall we leave the creepy room? Let's leave the creepy room. Oh. Uh, well, but where do we go now? Mm, is there anything in the... There must be something in the creepy room apart from creepy stuff. Hmm. It would seem not. Okay. All right. I'm worried there's going to be someone down here when we go through the door. Shit, shit, shit. A hydraulic elevator? How ingenious. Oh, that was fucking terrifying. He's recovered quickly. That was horrible. Ooh, an elevator. Watson? Holmes. What are you still doing here? Still? 
I was trying to find more information. Did you think I was just going to sit in my room twiddling my thumbs? I only asked you to find the key. I had everything else under control, says the man who looks like he saw a ghost. Well... I am fine, Watson. Ooh. You're hardly fine. You reek of congealed blood and chemicals. What did you see down there? Never mind me. Where's Gygax? I'm afraid she's over there. I found her like that when I entered. <gasps> oh, my word. What? She was our biggest lead. Yet another wrinkle in our investigation. What do we do now, Holmes? Hush. Let me think. Fuck. Gygax is fucking dead. I did not see that coming in a million years. Oh, shit. Right, well. Heidi, how did she, it, end up here? Well, oh no. The pencil is buried deep all the way to the brain. Instant death. Well, that's a first for this series, isn't it? Fucking hell. No traces of blood on her clothes. Must have got on her white overcoat. Ah. Uh, the patients here wear the same robes. Well. We'd better inform the local police about this. You're right, Watson. But first, we need to determine where our case goes next. It's kicked a dead woman. Whoop. <laughs> well, that's the examination done. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Where does the evidence lead next? Fucked if I know. Oh my god. Um, what? Well, okay. Telegram from New York. Gygax's diary. The notebook of Gygax? Letter from New Orleans Bank. It's got to be that. Ah, okay, so not the diary. What about the notebook? No. Handwritten letter? There it is. Okay. Several pieces of evidence now point to New Orleans. It appears the kidnappers have enlisted the services of the banking house of E.W. Gray to sell gems. Well, that's our quarry, isn't it? There we go. Okay, now. Let's have a chat with uh, Watson. We've got what we needed, Watson. This conspiracy reaches further than we thought. I don't suppose you've ever been to New Orleans? You are joking. I seldom do. Let's go. There's no time to waste. Wow. I've never been to New Orleans, so this will be a first for me. But, uh, bloody hell. That was chapter three, hey? There is nothing in this world that cannot be explained with logic and reason. Nothing in this world. Holmes? Hmm? You seem troubled. Mm. I'm not troubled, Watson. I am preoccupied. All right, potato, that potato. potato. Inhumane. It would be natural to experience some feelings of shock or fear. Men reduced to gibbering imbeciles, numb beyond recognition, powerless to help themselves. When a doctor does go wrong, they are the first of criminals. They have the nerve and they have the knowledge. That woman did not deserve the title. Such casual cruelty for such selfish aims. Mm. I knew another man like that once. He treated my mother, perhaps even killed her, depending on who you ask. My sincere condolences. In the end, she was just a shadow of herself. The outline of a person I recognized, but lacking all else, she was pushed until she cracked. Should you see me cracking, John? I must ask you to intervene. Nothing compels us to pursue this matter further, Sherlock. We can return to London, report what we have discovered, let more capable hands take over. Alas, there are no such hands. Were we to abandon our quest now, I fear no other would succeed in our stead. Mm. We know nothing of what awaits, what dangers lurk in the darkness. Nonsense. We draw nearer to New Orleans with every passing minute, and thus closer to the answers we seek. Those answers, for all their perversity and improbability, will nevertheless be the work of men. And that is a work I have studied well. Mm. So be it. 
So be it. I know you to be a diligent author, but if I may make one request. Kindly omit my mother and her suffering from your tale. Of course. Thank you, John. Of course. Well, that was... I enjoyed that scene. That was, that was a good bit of dialogue, I thought. Well, I think we should leave it there. That seems like a very natural place to break for the week. Well, all right, we'll watch this little cutscene. Chapter three. The Outsiders. Chapter four. The Outsiders. Oh, 1v. The Outsiders. Norlands. Heavens. Ah, oh, Holmes. After our trip to nippy Switzerland, I can certainly use some of this new world heat. Do not get carried away, Watson. What we could certainly use are answers to my questions. What? I know, but you look exhausted. Why don't we find the hotel first? We shall rest when our investigation is over and not a moment sooner. I shall ask you to handle our bags while I search for the bank. As you wish. Oi! Stop it, you! Our luggage! Heavens. Good Lord, what have you done? That's my stuff. I'm sorry, mister. It, it was an accident. <laughs> Well, fantastic. What a what an episode that was. Bloody hell. That went a lot harder than I expected it to. Um, Edelweiss Institute. Not a nice place anymore, it turns out. So there we go. We did some questionable things. We learned some horrifying information. Um, and now we're in New Orleans, so we'll pick it up there next week. Um, thank you so much for joining me for this episode of Press Nikidini. It has been a delight as per usual. Um, I have a Patreon. It's patreon.com forward slash Johnny Chiodini. There's a link in the description of this video. Uh, if you are able to support me directly through that and are willing, it really does make a big, big difference. It means I can keep doing this um, for a living, which is a very uh, nice and hopefully make some things you enjoy. Speaking of things you might enjoy, there's loads more on the channel for you to watch, including previous series of Preston Chiodini, old live streams, some a couple of weird videos, just have a look. There's loads. Um, so, yeah, uh, after that, there really remains nothing else for me to do other than say thank you very much for watching and have a lovely day.